What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel for a super quick video and today we'll be talking about Dead Eye Badge. And for the main topic, I'll answer the question, does Dead Eye Badge reduce challenge percentage? This one here came from some comment requests, so just let me know in the comment section any recommendation for a topic. And after watching, please let me know if you guys are using Dead Eye Badge, what level and what do you think about it. So now let's get right into it. So before we go to the main topic, let's have a quick recap first on how Dead Eye Badge worked through the years, up to now. So way way back to K20, if the defender is really close to you like this one, that will activate Steady Shooter Badge. And if the defender is one step farther than that, that will be Dead Eye Badge. And of course if it's too far like this, that will be wide open. And that logic was kept even up to now. But of course Steady Shooter was gone. Now, there is some misconception about the badge, even from the past years, that some players think that it's all about the challenge percentage. That if you pass a certain challenge percentage, that's the time that the badge will work or activate. It doesn't work like that. Yeah, of course, the percentage will give you a rough idea if the badge will activate, but there's a hole in that. There are some times that open shot won't activate the badge, like this one. And there's some times that open shot will activate the badge. There's a lot of factors that are coming to play. You got the defender's distance, how quick do they close out, and the moment they close out, are you going upwards already to shoot or you're still on the floor, and some other stuff. So it's really hard to pinpoint the exact formula. But to give you a rough idea, here's a perfect comparison. The one on the left will activate the badge and the one on the right won't activate the badge. So what the badge does is the moment it activates, it gives you better make percentage. Now the question is, will it reduce the challenge? Like if you have the badge, will these values drop as well? That's going to be big if it does because we all know challenge percentage will affect your shot speed. So let's find out the results after these messages. So before we proceed, just want to invite you guys to like the video if liking so far. And if you're new here, I'm Chutes and I do lots of detailed testings on stuff like badges, attributes, jump shots, dribbling styles, and lots of other stuff. And I'm doing YouTube full time, so expect a lot of videos. Last year, I made like around 400 videos. So make sure to subscribe so you won't miss out. Trust me, I got you covered for the whole year. So now going back, will the badge reduce the challenged percentage? So I made a test and I compared no badge in the Hall of Fame, and here are the results. It's a really close call because there's not much gap between them. And you gotta keep in mind as well that it's Hall of Fame and no badge. So imagine the difference between no badge and bronze only. So based on this one, I think it's either it affects it but the difference is so small only that you don't even need to bother about it or it doesn't affect it at all. I know I'm right at the middle but I'm citing more that it affects it. But again, I'm not cancelling out the fact that this one here could be just a margin of error. It's just hard to have a solid call if the gap is so small, especially if it's no badge and Hall of Fame comparison. Just want to make it clear, the badge will still boost your make percentage. I was just trying to test if there's an additional function on the badge. And based on the test, I don't think you need to bother about the challenge reduction part because at the end of the day, if I'm correct that it affects your challenge reduction, it's not going to make a big difference anyway. So that's all for the video. If you guys like it, please smash that like button and please consider subscribing for more videos. And don't forget to drop by the channel for lots of other contents. And as always, stay safe and happy gaming guys. Peace.